right, Tim, the tool man, Taylor. And you all know my assistant, Al, this land is boar land. <laughs> There's no way anyone gets that reference. Hey, listen, anyway, let's talk about a deck that could potentially be a nice, fun little one to play on the ladder if you are looking for something a little bit more rogue. It's Pachirisu. With its attack Wind Up Thunder for a Lightning and a Colorless, it deals 30 damage times the number of Pokemon tools attached to each of your Pokemon. That can potentially add up to some very, very high numbers, especially when you consider the fact that we do have the brand new Boss Pockets Honchkrow, which is a super, super neat ability, allowing our Honchkrow to attach four different tools to it at any one time. In fact, I don't even think that they need to be different. You can attach any four tools you like. And that means if we have a couple of Honchkrow in play, we can potentially have eight on those two Honchkrow, plus a couple of extra around the place. These Pachirisu are going to be dealing a ton of damage. The rest of the deck is really, really simple. I mean, we've just got a ton of tools. We play three copies of Air Balloon, which we can attach to our consistency engine in Bibarel, which uses the industrious incisors ability to draw extra cards. We also have the Cape of Toughness, which we can attach to our Honchcrows to give them extra HP. 200 HP is easy to knock out, 300 is not as easy, so definitely worth attaching to those. We also have Choice Band to obviously give us some extra damage. Choice Belt, sorry, not Choice Band. And also the EXP share to help us move our regular lightning energy from our attackers onto our benched Pachirisu. And finally, in the early game, we can use Lucky Egg to try and increase our hand size so that we can get some cards into our hand and set our board up. A really, really cool little list. We can use the Shopping Center card to move our tools around. Maybe we don't want the EXP share on our active anymore. We want to move it to the bench. We can do that. We want to put Choice Belt onto a Pokemon that's in the active instead of one that's on the bench. That's very doable as well. I think this is actually a lot of fun. Now listen, Pachirisu is not a top tier threat, but it is definitely a great fun one. Let's jump across onto the ladder and see if we can't get ourselves a couple of wins with Wind Up Thunder. Alrighty, we've joined ourselves in an interesting position. Not, not good. But not bad either. We've got a Honchkrow in the active, and it looks like we are playing up against a Suicune V deck. Perhaps Suicune Ludicolo, which is doing quite well in some online tournaments recently. We could potentially be seeing that here. Uh, it looks like it is our turn now, so we are going to see what we can do. I think Quick Ball is probably the answer here. There are two basics that I'd really like to see, so I think we're going to Quick Ball for the first. I'm going to get rid of the shopping center. Not ideal to lose that early, but I think we can afford to. I'm going to grab Pachirisu. We're going to play that down and then use our capture energy to search our deck for a basic Pokemon and grab it. Put it on the bench. Bidoof seems like a good option. We have... <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> We've got EXP share in hand and choice belt as well, which is fantastic. Plus, the barrel is in our hand too. So, if we can get ourselves a, uh, a solid turn off of our barrel, we use our industrious incisors, or we just get Crushing Hammer flipped into Oblivion. Okay, well that was close. Um, or we just get Crushing Hammer flipped into Oblivion. <laughs> oh no! Okay, here we go. They've not done anything else. It's fine. We've got Pachirisu, we've got barrel, we've got the cards that we need to at least do something on this turn. So let's... uh. Let's get ourselves going, Will. Industrious Incisors. I really should have attached that to the bench. That's okay. That Pachirisu should have a uh, should have a thingamajig on it. Let's put a Lucky Egg down, and then we can research. Get rid of the Cynthia's Ambition. A really, really good card for these uh, kind of a little bit more budget, a little bit more interesting little decks where we're playing cards that maybe aren't quite so popular. I'm gonna put the. Um, Gonna put, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with a quick ball here. We're gonna get rid of the uh, Manaphy. We don't need that. Let's go for Crobat. And play that down instead. Uh, let's put the Capture Energy on the Pachirisu with... Let's put the Lightning Energy down, because then at least we can get it back with the XP share. We'll put the Lucky Egg in the active, and then Crobat for four. We'll see what we can come up with. Shopping Center's pretty good. We could move some of our items around, maybe one of them. I don't think we really need to here. We're not expecting to be knocked out. And even if we are knocked out, we've got another Onchkrow. We've got another Energy. We've got Research. We've got Barrel. We've got everything that we need to be successful. So I think 
It's just a matter of waiting. Our opponent really hasn't done too much here. Uh, Path of the Peak, though, is very, very frustrating. Uh, I want to get rid of one of these. I think it's going to have to be... Hmm, I think it... <sighs> I think it's got to be the. I think it's got to be the XP share. We can leave the egg in the active, and if they do decide to take a knockout, uh, they will need to use Melanie. So I think it's smart to leave that there. They can hit into the egg. I mean, looking at our hand, we have six cards in it, so we don't really care. But that's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Let's just be positive. They're researching, which means that they're not attacking this turn. They're not gonna attack. They've got no way to get energy into play. They can't, Melanie. We're going to be fine. And, didn't mention this, Suicune, weak to lightning. So all we really need to do is get an attack off, and we should be fine, theoretically. Like, I mean, anything could happen at this stage, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. We've got another Sobble coming down for Kanto Kid 9300. So possibly another Drizzile at some point. But like I said, they will not be able to attack with our uh, with the Suicune this turn. Because they will need to use a Melanie. Now they're just going to keep calling and it is our turn. This is pretty good. We can get rid of the Path of the Peak here. We can play down our Capture Energy. We can attach a uh, an EXP share maybe. Let's move the Egg. Um, actually, let's just move the Egg off of the Patchery. So we'll put that onto the Barrel. And then we can play down the EXP share and draw some cards with Research. I like that. We're looking for an air balloon, which we don't find. Um, we also can't play our hand down. Hey, listen, this is not this has not worked. This has not worked the way it was supposed to. But we do have boss's orders next turn. We can take two prizes, so I'm not worried about it. You're worried about it, not me. I know, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Pachorisu has not been kind to me. I've played several games with it, and it's not quite worked out. Uh, but it's definitely a fun one. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's just not good. It's just not uh, not top-tier stuff. But it doesn't have to be. All it has to be is, is fun. And, and, I, and I will say it is pretty fun. Normally, I'd have been able to get out of the active. I can use Air Balloon to get out normally. Um, but now, they're just not letting me do it. So... Kind of weird. They're going to fan of waves away my capture energy, which is ultimately not that big of a deal for me. I don't really care about that. We're going to see, though. Do they find the Melanie? They've got the shady dealings in Tellion, so they'll be able to grab a Melanie if they want one. They may also go for Path to the Peak, which would be less than ideal, but if they do that, then that's their own prerogative. I don't really mind. They're going to go Melanie and Crushing Hammer will excellent. I hope they flip heads on this. I hope that they flip heads on this crushing hammer. I hope that they're rewarded for their good decision. I'm just going to sit back here. We're going to they're going to flip tails and it's going to be fine. See, told you. I don't know. Why would you Inteleon for a crushing hammer? I mean, if they get it then we probably lose the game. But they still did it. They still need to attack as well. I don't even think they're dealing 250 damage this turn. They need an extra Pokemon and a Choice Belt if they want to do that. Because we do have the uh, Cape. So I'm feeling I'm feeling actually pretty reasonable. There's the Energy. There's the extra Pokemon. Do they have the Band? Do they have the Belt? Do they have the Belt? Is that is that going to be happening? Scoop up. Scoop up the Drizzile. Oh, the Inteleon. Fair enough. Scoop up the Inteleon. Go for the belt off of the Drizzile. Nice. Nice play. Flip Tails. Be punished for that. That's so dumb. Thank you, game. <laughs> Searched for it twice. Search for the crushing hammer off of two abilities with Inteleon. You deserve that, Kanto kid. That was that was wrong. That was wrong of you to have done that. That was incorrect. All right, here we go. Let's get cracking. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna go into Pachi here. We are going to hit ourselves a bunch of damage. We're, we're definitely dealing enough. I don't even want to use the supporter. I just want to wind up Thunder, and that deals 480 damage. It's plenty. 
plenty with the extra bonus from the weakness. Two prizes for us and now our opponent cannot boss and also take a KO. They can, however, use Path of the Peak, so we need to be aware of that. They could path away the uh, the Honch Crow, and uh, we would need to... Well, I mean, we could still hold on to it with the, uh, with the cape, so that's fine. Uh, they do have... They're two pings away, so if they have two pings, then they can get it. Two quick shooting Inteleons would take the knockout on the Honch Crew, but they don't need to. Like, they don't have to do that. I mean, they don't really... They could... They could. I think our double EXP share on our Pachorice is on the bench. That is incredible. There is the path of the peak. We need to uh, get rid of two item cards. We're going to get rid of the ones that won't cause us to die. Uh, if we get rid of the uh, giant cape, great great big old cape of toughness, then uh, we would lose two prizes for free, which we don't want to happen. I mean, maybe we do. And uh, we've got an energy in our hand, we've got Cynthia's Ambition, we've got Air Balloon, we've got another Hunch Crib, we've got all of these extra cards that we can use. I like the fact that we're getting a knockout next turn. It is a shame that this game has taken so long to get to this point, but you can see how Pachirisu can keep its energy in play, which was something that I was a little bit worried about when I was building the deck. Like, how do you keep enough lightning energy in play to be continually attacking, especially when you can only manually attach one per turn? But we can get there now, we can patch a resu and we can attack. The issue in this game is Path of the Peak, but obviously we're being saved by weakness. So it's like six of one, half a dozen, half a dozen of the other. So it's not that big of a deal. But we do need to be aware that against decks like Gengar VMAX or other Path of the Peak decks that we are going to find ourselves losing out. Because of that, we'll lose a whole bunch of tools. The Honch Crows won't be as effective. It's not ideal. Um, looks like Raihan and Fan of Waves is coming in here. Fan of Waves is an interesting choice. They don't need to use that this turn. They can get rid of an energy next turn if they want. But I don't understand why they would do that. They could potentially... I mean... There's so many things they could do. Fan of Waves is so much more useful in other matchups. I don't think it's particularly good here. But then again, it could be. It could be they might have use for it. In a shady dealings again, you're gonna go for another one of your crushing hammers, my friend. No, just a Melanie. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Melanie's probably a pretty good card to get. It means that they can attach an energy next turn to their third Suicune. But you know what? We got powered patchies for days. We shouldn't be in too much of a trouble here. We could. I mean, we could be. But I don't think we will be. Here's that quick shooting in Teleon. They're gonna ping the Honch Crow. And then they'll take a knockout on the Pachi. A Pachi Risu. But that is okay. I can live with it. I can live with the Pachi Risu being knocked out. It's not the end of the world. They'll move the lightning energies onto our two Pokemon with EXP shares. Um, which we obviously need to do manually because that's how that works. And uh, then we just promote one and attach a capture energy and we should be fine. I like, I like, I like. Alrighty, Choice Belt's a pretty good card to get. Uh, it's not ideal, though, to have to uh, to have to attach it to another Pachirisu. That's fine. We can go for the uh, Air Balloon and then Cynthia as well. We've got a handful of supporters here. Let's just wind up Thunder, take the knockout. We've got plenty, plenty of items in play. 360 damage. That's 180 if it's not weak to Lightning, which is really, really strong. You can see how quickly Wind Up Thunder can power up. And uh, now, in theory, we should be in a position where no matter what our opponent does, we go on to win the game here. We have boss in hand, we have a lightning energy in hand. If they want to take a knockout, they need to use Melanie, so they can't money me. Uh, if they knock out the active, we've got an attachment. If they gust, they can't attack. There's so many good, uh, good, good spots for us to be in here. I like it. Cape of Toughness, frustrating, but not necessarily the end of the world. We just benched another Suicune, so we could gust that if we want. But to be honest, I think we're going to be dealing enough damage anyway. There goes the Honch Crow. That's a bit of a shame. But... We are going to go on to win this game. There's almost nothing that can stop us now. I mean, we've even got the EXP share. We don't even need the energy in hand, to be brutally honest. We don't even need the energy in hand. What a deck. What a deck. I will say, though, this guy, Kanto Kid, you yeah, playing nice and slow here, bud. It's kind of hard to fill your awkward silences. I'm just sitting here waiting for you to do something. Like... Oh, 
he's used fan of waves, fair enough. I mean, we wouldn't want to wait there forever. Put an energy back in the deck for me so I can use it later on, that's fantastic. Just click Blizzard Rondo, my friend. Click Attack Not For Game. I would love to see it. Are we just, are we seriously sitting here waiting this whole time? I'm just looking at his time. He's taking a full six minutes longer than me to play this game. Six minutes. Hey guys, if you're going to a regional that's coming up very, very shortly, please try and play quickly. You will not fit your games in. Right? This, if, if you can imagine that these kind of games on PTCGO, they go this long, you don't even need to shuffle. It does it automatically. In real life, it's going to get you. We're going to move those energies onto our Pachirisu. And now we are set and ready to go. Pachi comes into play. We've got our attack. Nice and easy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play some more cards here. This guy's wasted my time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some cards. We're gonna play the Pachis. We're gonna a quick ball. We're gonna get rid of a research. We're gonna grab ourselves a Pachirisu. We're gonna attach a tool card to the Pachirisu. We're gonna attach a, a Honchkrow to the bench, and then we're gonna attach to the Honchkrow, then we're gonna use one up thunder and take a knockout. And it's fine. And I did that in a full six minutes. More than you, or less than you, Kanto Kid. Thanks for watching, by the way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. The world's worst opening hand. I mean, we've got a quick ball. We can get rid of a boss. We'll grab ourselves a Bidoof. A Bidoof. Put that down. Uh, I think we just need to get rid of the other boss here with the quick ball. That's fine. Uh, not ideal, but we have our attacker now. We've got uh, no energy, though. No energy, so that's disappointing. But we've got a supporter for next turn. We've got a Cape of Toughness. Our opponent's playing an Arceus deck. So they may or may not take a knockout next turn. Lots of them don't. Lots of them just focus on using their Trinity Charge attack for two colorless energy to accelerate some energy. They've attached a Water manually, which means that they are not going to be doing anything this turn. Which is very frustrating from my point of view. But top decking the barrel is pretty good news. I can live with that. Let's industrious in sizes here. That's incredible. How does he do it? They ask. How does he do it? Let's draw some more cards. Capture energy seems pretty good. We can get ourselves another Pachirisu. And we've got Crobat as well if we want to use it. I think we might decide not to. Yeah, we won't. We'll hold on to it for next turn. Hopefully our opponent takes a knockout on the Manaphy and accelerates to another Arceus or an Iced Rider. Either of those would be acceptable. Taking a knockout on the Manaphy is fantastic for us. It's not good prizes for them and also it lets us use Cynthia's Ambition to draw up to 8 cards which would be fantastic. Having that plus the barrel is incredible. Incredible stuff. You can get so many cards into your deck using that combination of cards. I just... Ah, Bibarrel is so good. I'm like a big, big Bibarrel fan. I'm a big Barrel fan. That's a bad joke. I'm going to have to keep that in. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, it's been a week. It's been a week. Um, Trinity Nova is an option for our opponent if they find the triple colorless... Uh, cost, the twin energy is what they need, the uh, double turbo energy, sorry. We'll obviously take a knockout on on our Manaphy, but they're looking like they've got the Ice Arida Calyrex deck, which I really like, I like the sound of it. I don't know about the practicalities of it, but I like it in theory. And in theory is the only place that I need to play it at the moment. It looks like they're going to go for Shady Dealings as well. They can't gust up anything, but they can use Evo Incense either this turn or next to get themselves what they need. Plus, they've also got their Starbirth ability. They can use Starbirth to find any two cards they want from the deck, and that's so good. Arceus is such an incredible card. In fact, I've got a whole week's worth of... Uh, a whole week's worth of different Arceus decks that I could potentially play. If you want an Arceus week, let me know in the comments. Tell me about it. If you'd like me to just continue playing these kind of decks, also tell me that. If you think that I should stop making YouTube videos and just, like, exist in another dimension, then tell me that as well. I mean, I'm happy to listen. Happy to listen to all feedback. Um, okay, what do we got? We've got a shopping center. We've got a couple of, uh, couple of little, a couple of little interesting and exciting condiments here that we can attach to our... To our Pokemon. We've got a Choice Belt, which I like. 
We've got an EXP share. I'll put that down onto the uh, Honch Crow, I guess. Then we can crow about for three cards. I'd, I'd love to see another tool, and we've got one. The Cape of Toughness seems good. This Honch Crow has like 350 HP at the moment. That's incredible. Uh, and then we will Industrious Incisors for a single card. Uh, we don't really get anything useful here, but what we do have is we have Wind Up Thunder for a solid 210 damage. And I think that that's pretty good. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to win the game doing 210 damage, but I, but I like to think that our options are pretty good. We can Raihan next turn, we can get energy onto another patch of Risa, which would be great. We can move some items around if we want as well. It's a lot of, a lot of options. A lot of options here that we can be utilizing. Um, also, I don't think they can ever kill this Honchkrow. It has 350 HP. This Honchkrow right now has more HP than an Eternatus VMAX. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, they could just play Path of the Peak and they'd all be gone. But let's not talk about what could be. Let's talk about what is. And it is... Chunky. It's a chunky, chunky honchcrow. His boss pockets are full of stuff. Big, big pockets of stuff. Here's the Starbirth. Alright, what are we going for? We are searching our deck. Our opponent is going to search their deck for any two cards and put them into their hand. Be able to maybe gust out a Crobat for a knockout, which would be pretty good. Uh, they could potentially gust out the Honchcrow and use a path to the peak. That would be pretty good. There's a lot of things that could happen here. We see a ping to the Pachirisu in the active. That is an interesting, interesting choice. And then boss's orders. So this will be for the Crobat. They'll take the knockout on the Crobat. Why did they do that? This Honch Crow is indestructible. Why would you do that? And I top decked the Air Balloon because I'm so good at Pokemon cards. Can you believe it? Capture Energy onto the Pachirisu. I think we've got Air Balloon onto the Honch Crow. And then we can throw down the Barrel as well. I like this. That's Industrious Incisors. We'll try and draw a couple of cards. We've now got plenty, plenty of, uh, of tool cards in play. But what's one more? Um, and then we can Industrious Incisors for one more card if we want to. To be honest, I don't even know if we need to. kind of just like having what we've got. Eight? Is eight enough? I don't think it's enough. Let's discard some, let's discard some Lightning Energy here. Um, and I'm going to draw four cards with Industrious Incisors. And see if I can get one more tool card just to make myself feel better. Look at that. Let's put the air balloon down. We can retreat now Mega Honch Crow and then wind up Thunder. Up a pay. 300 damage. That is a solid hit. It's a solid little chunk of damage there that we're dealing. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by what's just happened to you. I'm doing lots of this in this video. I'm doing lots of lots of leaning back. I don't know if I should. I don't know if it's providing you with an entertaining viewing experience, but that's what I'm doing. I mean, what our opponent's doing is marnying us, which means that our Honchcrow continues to be safe until they play Path of the Peak and I lose all of my cards, which would be sucky, but... Hey, listen. It's going to be fine. They're going to ping the Honchcrow. Do they understand how much HP this thing has? Do you have any idea, sir? you have any comprehension of how fat this, this Honchkrow is right now? Good grief. Alright, well, we've got ourselves a Pachirisu that's powered and ready to go. We need another one, so we're going to need to research into it, but that's fine. We can definitely do it. Lightning Energy. Would have liked to have seen that... Uh, would have liked to have seen that uh, after the research, but that's fine. We can just chuck the Pachirisu back in and a couple of Lightning Energy as well. It's fine. It's fine. We're about to discard one. We don't need to. We don't need to stress. We don't need to stress. Let's research. I'd love to see Parchy energy, and we've got three Parchies and an energy. Oh my word! Okay, and then what we can do is we can quick pull away one of those Parchies, and uh, just draw some more cards with Industrious Incisors, which is a great ability that I love. Uh, we can't do that anymore now. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, we will retreat into Pachirisu. We can use our shopping center move, the EXP share, onto the bench Pachirisu, and then wind up Thunder 30 times the amount of tools. That's 240 damage. 
incredible stuff. Two more prizes for us. And now we simply need to take a knockout on this Calyrex. Now, it will, almost without a doubt, become a VMAX. So it's going to have 320 HP. If our opponent pings our Honchkoro and plays down Path of the Peak, we lose four times of our modifier, which means we're going to lose 120 damage. Going to need to get that back somehow. And I don't know how we're going to do it. Shady dealings here for Path or uh, similar would really, really grind my gears. I hope that they don't get it, but I mean, they may, they may just get it. It's... I mean, it's pretty likely. Anyway, I mean, they would have grabbed it by now, surely. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait. It's a boss. Okay, so no path. No path. A boss's orders instead. What do they go for? Boss for what? For the Honchcrow. Fair enough. So they're just going to ride of the High King me? Is that what they're going to do here? Can I ever get enough tools under this thing? Okay, so there goes 120 damage. At present, I'm doing 3, 6, 9, 12. I can get an extra 30. That choice band gives me an extra 60. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12... Uh, 15, 18. Do you know what I would really like to see, game? Do you know what I'd really love? I would really love to just fall into a haunch crew here. I mean, we can grab one with Raihan. I think it's worth just going for it. Uh, let's grab the quick ball, actually, because then we can draw some more cards off of the b barrel. B barrel. Haunch crew. We can attach air balloon, attach lucky egg. Then we can use Industrious Incisors. We need to get really lucky here. I don't even know if a full set of cards would be enough. If we get a tool card off of this, do we hit 320? I mean, this is this is pretty good. I don't know if this is 320 damage, but I'm gonna click it anyway. It was three. It was 300, guys. It was 300. Do you have any concept of how much damage that is in reality? If they'd knocked out a Pachirisu last turn, we would have won that game. Is that not just ridiculous? Is that just is that just not the most ridiculous thing? God, maybe this deck is good. It's probably not though. It's probably not good, right? I mean, it's not good. It's not like good. It's okay, but you know. We all have fun, that's the key. Air Balloon going onto the active. Onto the active, sure. I guess it is thinning. Don't have boss. No boss? Nowhere to search for boss. Well. We've got ourselves a ball game here, ladies and gentlemen. Are they going to ping me with the inter- Are you going to water for me so I get access to Cynthia? Cynthia. I can't use Cynthia, I need to use Boss. I need to use Boss to win the game. Okay. So, our opponent is going to take a knockout with Waterfall. They're gonna Marnie us. Marnie me into the boss. Marnie me into the boss, please. Oh, that's a shame. It's a real shame, that. That's a real genuine shame. Okay, well, I mean... We knew we were going to lose anyway, right? It's not that big of a deal. Um, what can we do? I mean, we can attach an energy. Grab ourselves... Do we even have a boss left? We don't. Grab ourselves a Pachorisu. I mean, I th I'm going to count this as a, as a success. I think this was successful. I feel like... I feel like we've done as much as we could... We can wind up Thunder, we can take a prize, we can say well played. It's definitely worth it. We almost got that Ice Rider. If they'd knocked out a Pachirisu instead of the Onchkrow, we would have got him. We also had to discard two boss in the early game, so that's okay. Hey, listen. Hey, don't you dare say that I always win. People are always saying it. They're always like, Mitch, I always know when you're going to win. 
Because if it's in the video, then you win. Well, I tell you what, right now, it's not true. It's just not true. So that's the end of that one. Thank you very much for coming along. I appreciate it. I've gone mad in this room, by the way. I'm obviously too talented. I shouldn't have done this anyway. Thank you very much to all of these people over here for being channel members. If you'd like to do that and become a channel member, then please click the join button. It's three bucks a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. It would make my day if you could do that. So thank you very much. Also, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And realistically, if you want to see a good one prize deck, something that can actually take some prizes, you should be clicking on this over here. Turns out that Malamar is actually really, really strong. Definitely worth a look. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.